If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we have Fabio Quagliarella and I am really looking forward to trying him out because this is the best card he's ever had. The age on this guy and him being in team of the season is amazing. So 89 pace on Quag, you're never gonna see anything like this ever again for sure 97 shooting 94 passing 95 dribbling 87 physical this guy looks like a perfect striker now we have a really nice team around him i have put in kulabani and kiri to test them out and also we've done the flashback alexandro now the defense is going to be quite interesting i don't want to buy cancelo just yet just because he's going for a lot of money and i don't want to you know be very vulnerable for his price drops because he's going for a 900k so team is team season Colabani and Chiellini I've, I've bought Chiellini for very cheap let me just see not very cheap but 548k is not too bad so I was willing to risk that and Colabani 850k so Quag let us see his stats so he's 5 foot 11 710k not too expensive for a 96 rated player Four star, four star, medium, medium work rates. We have get forward and get, I mean, stay forward and get in behind on him. So, in game stats 92 acceleration, perfect. 85 sprint speed is good enough, I guess. 95 attack positioning, 93 finishing. I think he was the top goal scorer in the Serie A. I can't remember, correct? If I can't remember, but he should have 99 finishing. 99 shot power though, 99 long shots, 97 volleys, 95 penalties, and passing stats, 95 vision, 86 crossing, 99 free kick accuracy, 96 short passing, 92 long passing, 99 curve as well, 87 agility, 92 balance, 99 reactors, 99 ball control, 93 dribbling, 96 composure, 99 heading accuracy, his jumping is 89, I would like to increase that, Stamina is 85, which is good enough for a striker, and 98 strength. So, by just looking at this, I am willing to put the chemistry style um, marksman on him, just to increase his jumping, because that's what you kind of need for strikers, especially when you want to cross it in. So, let us see. Now he has 99 jumping, um, 99 strength as well. Aggression got, you know, got boosted by 5, which is not a big deal. Um, attack positioning is 99, uh, finishing is now 99 as well. All right, guys, first match, we are facing a, I guess, French-Brazilian hybrid. Has a Belgium goalkeeper, I guess, but that is pretty much the gist of this squad. Quag making the run of his dreams. No! How? How did he just finesse it like that? I thought we were trying being clever. Maybe we should have just blasted it. I knew he was going to do that. Penalty! Let's go! It's like I actually saw the future when I was doing that. So, Quag, come on. Even though he doesn't deserve the penalty, we're going to give it to him. So there we go. Quag gets on the score sheet and yellow card for Varane. Ref, come on. That's how strong he is. It's pretty cool to see um, Quag actually being very strong now. So he does have 99 free kick accuracy and 99 power. We're definitely going to be taking it with him. Oh, how did the keeper just catch that? Some of the animations in this game is, are just weird. He actually scores that. Kulabadi took a while to turn there, which I don't like. So maybe if I had Militao, he would have reacted a bit quicker. But Kulabadi seems to be a bit, you know, slow. Oh, the finesse shot of dreams. <laughs> That is what you want! Finesse shots are back with this quag. On the verge of half time, boys, we get a nice finesse shot under pressure with the quag. And he's strong enough to hold off the players, that's what's so awesome. 
he is strong enough to be composed, finesse it, and also hold off the defenders. How did Ronaldo scuff that? So one thing I have noticed with Quag though, is his positioning isn't the best for a striker. He does seem to be out of position quite a bit, especially on counter-attacks. So keep that in mind when you want to purchase him. His positioning isn't the best. I think he has like medium-medium. How are the? How is he doing this? I should have cleared it the first time, but somehow he just posted it to him. Easy as that, boys. Let's go. I think that was an assist for Quag. I'm not sure. Let me just double check. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. I feel like Quag could be a really good center attack in mid, though. I don't understand how they just go through the plays like that. It's like they pass it like my plays aren't even there. What a pass, let's go. Oh, Alan, come on, you had to do better than that. That is the reason why I feel like Quag could be a very good center attack in mid. His passing is really good. And also he's really strong to hold off some of these players. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him as a striker. He seems to be out of position a lot, so... He did score us uh, one penalty, and one of them, I guess he was in position. He did assist as well. <sighs> mixed opinion on him as a striker. This guy that we played also is really good, but mixed opinion. I definitely feel like, as a center attacker mid, this guy can be a beast. So, second match, we'll try him out as a striker yet again, but that medium-medium is really killing him. All right, let's take a look at the next team we face. Okay, a couple of blue plays in there. He has the Militao, but not the team of season one. Alex Teller, team of the season. Van Dijk, central mid. Okay. Oh my days! I thought that was in. The way that was curving and the keeper, the way he missed it, I thought that was in. Quag's finesse shots are insane. I have to use him as a center attacking mid. I was actually thinking of using team of the season uh, Gomez as a center attacking mid, but after trying out his finesse shots, they're disgusting. It's like they're, they're back. He, he Does he have the finesse shot trait? We must check that out later on. We have to. We have to check it out. It feels like he, he has finesse shots like Mertens. What the hell? You see what Alan did? I was telling Alan to shoot, but the AI passed it to Ronaldo instead. It's like, it helped me get that goal, you know? It was so weird. So first half is over. Quagliarella doing damage though. But at the same time, I, again, I don't like him as a striker. I'm definitely gonna move him down to a center attack in mid. He's gonna be insane in that position. His passing is amazing. He has the free kicks. He has the long passing, the short passing. He has the vision as well. He has everything. Full-star weak foot, full-star skills as well. Perfect center attack in mid for me. Easy as that, boys. Let's go. That was a really nice build up there. Um, no complaints. That's the thing about Gomez, though. His agility just opens up the space for Quag. He drew so many defenders because of how fast he is, right? That was in as well. <laughs> His. Um, his finesse shots are broken. Oh, 
Oh, is this gonna be the quag goal? He deserves it, he deserves it, let's go! Oh my god, he is so strong at the same time. His finesse shots, his finishing is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Through hit the defender's leg, that was very lucky from us, but we deserve it after what we went through to, you know, we he just ran through the whole pitch. So, guys, this is actually amazing because we all I've always wanted a center attack in mid that has insane and broken finesse shots. Mertens is not in this team this season, so Quag gets that spot now. He's he scored us a hat trick. Did he have any assists? None. But his passing's so good. And I feel like with your two strikers, you could draw away the defenders and finesse it with your center attack in mid. He is insane. You know what? I'm gonna go on footbin and just find out if he has the finesse shot trait, because this is very important. If he does, that is why he feels so broken, like his finesse shots. He actually has no traits. I have no idea why his finesse shot feels so good. Because there's so many players that I've tried out, guys, that have very high shooting, and they have nowhere near the kind of finesse shots I felt with this quank. So it's, it seems amazing. So overall, guys, um, I don't know, once I've tried out Team Season Gomez, we'll decide who takes that center, to, center attack in mid spot. But Quag with the height, the jumping, the strength as well, holding off players. Guys, a medium, medium work rate, he felt basically that's where he belongs, center attack in mid. Uh, striker, definitely not, just because he was out of position so much. Sometimes you'll find him uh, making the run, sometimes he won't. Especially on counter attacks, you will know it's a big difference because it's always Ronaldo running by himself. So, I wouldn't really use him as a striker, honestly. I would use him as a center attacking mid. So, Quag, no complaints other than his positioning. If you want him as a striker, his position is going to be a big problem. But if you want him, if you want to use him in a different position, he is perfect. Center attacking mid, he is perfect. So, I'm going to give this Quagliarella a 9.5 out of 10 because he's so good other than his positioning. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. And uh, let me know in the comments, who would you like me to try out next? Gomez, there's Nine Golden, there's so many strikers, Zapata, Piatek, there's loads. So let me know in the comment section below, and hopefully you have a very nice day.